information this morning on a story first reported by 60 Minutes in May. The Air Force has been told of two more incidents where pilots ran short of oxygen while flying F-22 fighter jets. And those incidents happened after a change in procedure to address that oxygen problem. David Martin went up for the experience to, to experience the danger for himself. The F-22 is on a very short leash, limited to flights within 30 minutes of a landing field. The reason? A mysterious problem that without warning caused pilots to suffer hypoxia, become disoriented from lack of oxygen, a dangerous condition in a high-performance aircraft. Roger, Raptor 1, cleared for takeoff. I experienced hypoxia firsthand in an F-22 simulator as Major Tom Massa reduced the flow of oxygen to my mask. Can you describe what you're feeling to me? Uh, dizzy. Only after I pulled the emergency oxygen did I realize how far downhill my ability to function had gone. I thought I was going straight and level and I was still... Uh, you continue climbing? I was going up through 30,000 feet. The real F-22 can pull nine Gs subjecting the pilot to a force nine times the weight of gravity. Watch this pilot pull nine Gs in a centrifuge. Listen to his breathing and watch his chest heave against all the equipment he wears. One standard piece of equipment is this vest. When hooked up to an oxygen machine, it inflates to protect my lungs from exploding at high altitude, but also makes it harder to breathe. That, says Colonel Kevin Robbins, commander of the first fighter wing at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, turned out to be the cause of the hypoxia. The vest was inflating every time that you pulled any G's on the aircraft and staying inflated, which was making it more difficult to take air in. F-22 pilots no longer wear the vest. Even without it, there have been two cases of pilots running short of oxygen. The Air Force says those were mechanical malfunctions unrelated to the hypoxia mystery. But until the Air Force can convince Defense Secretary Panetta it really has solved the mystery, the F-22 will remain on a short leash. For CBS This Morning, David Martin, Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. Understandably, still a lot of concern. And scary stuff. It is.